back in January of this year, I got a new puppy. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, this is Georgia and she's awesome. And any of you who've ever raised a puppy know that the first thing you want to teach them is that there's certain things that they need to do only outside. <laughs> Needless to say, adopting this sweet girl has altered my schedule quite a bit. I'm now setting my alarm for 6 a.m. 6 a.m. And that's with the hopes of making sure that we don't have any early morning accidents. <laughs> Sorry, there is a point to this, I promise. With spring upon us, things are a little bit different now. There's a little bit more light at that hour, and it's at least a little bit warmer. Now, I am not the warm and jovial person that you see before you right now at 6 a.m. I know, hard to believe. I'm a little dense until I've had my coffee. But on a recent morning, something changed. I'm sure that it had already been happening. I just hadn't noticed. Standing out there with my dog, I was suddenly aware of a cacophony. A symphony of songs coming from the tree-lined hill behind my house. Countless birds releasing their songs at six o'clock in the morning. A little note about birds. Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly Father feeds them, and aren't you far more valuable to Him than they are? All of those birds, whose only concern on a daily basis, I presume, is survival. And yet, they start their day by releasing their song. None of them seem to be in any kind of a hurry yet. They just filled the air with their songs in a perfectly imperfect harmony. We all have so much to be concerned with, to be worrying about right now. The health and safety of ourselves and the ones we love, our jobs, the economy. So many things that are just simply out of our control. But isn't it encouraging to know that if God is taking care of every single one of those birds, how much more does He care about you and me? So would it be crazy to think about following the lead of those birds and to start each morning by releasing our song, by thanking God? Psalm 59 says, But I will sing of your strength and will joyfully proclaim your faithful love in the morning. For you have been a stronghold for me, a refuge in my day of trouble. To you, my strength, I sing praises because God is my stronghold, my faithful God. And if all of that sounds too wordy, how about you just take a quiet moment, look up and say, God, thank you.